Dear friends, I try to steal some time off from the holiday today and to continue the second part of uh, this uh, series. So, immediately I'm telling you what it is. This guitar is a Giaton LG50. This was a mainstream guitar from the Japan competitors of the Telecasters and Gibsons of the day in the late 50s. It was cheaper sold uh, in uh, United States and uh, England. This uh, specific one was brought from France, which I guess in the 60s uh, these guitars uh, went to the second hand stores and uh, were in the later years uh, dismantled or somebody tried to uh, restore them, but uh, it didn't end well. So we have only the wood, there is no hardware and uh, we have to think uh, about uh, course of action how to restore this. The pickups alone are very sought after, so I guess uh, many of these guitars were uh, uh, up, fell apart just because of the pickups. Pickups uh, are sold at uh, uh, cosmic uh, value of money, and uh, the reproduction pickups that are offered for this guitar are 100 pounds each. Online, a mint condition, these guitars cost between $800 and uh, $1,000. I mean, mint uh, old and uh, aged guitars. And uh, of course, we don't have this kind of money for this project, so we have to think about it what we will do about it. I'm guessing uh, I'm planning to make it a playable guitar. Of course, I cannot afford the pickups uh, uh, 200 pounds for both, which are very interesting and uh, sought after by collectors. In any case, we think that we'll make the right thing to bring this old wood to a playable condition. Check it out. Uh, this is uh, some kind of uh, less small body with a uh, bigger cutaway and it has a fenderless kind of uh, headstock and it is with single coils so I guess uh, some hybrid of both worlds and this is what the LG50 of Giaton was in the 50s Let's take a list uh, of what exactly is missing So, we have the headstock There is uh, no tuning machines and uh, there is no fake uh, thruscope, thruscope, uh, cover. The fretboard is here. Fretboard is missing the frets. We are missing the markers. We have to find uh, some uh, material to make the markers. Going down, uh, we are missing uh, plates. Okay, scratch plate. We are missing the two pickups. They are, one is uh, smaller than uh, the neck pickup is smaller than the bridge pickup, but uh, I guess it's, uh, their price is uh, prohibitive, so we will think of something else. We miss the selector switch, with, uh, in, which is some kind of gallet switch with uh, chicken head knob. We miss two potassium potentiometers. This is easy to make. We miss the bridge and we miss the tailpiece we don't have a jack cover so and we don't have a jack as well and uh, i guess there are other parts uh, which we will think in the process what exactly we are going to achieve Friends, let's stop beating around the bush or the squirrel as some hero may say and let's get down to business. Uh, first we have uh, to check uh, of course uh, the geometry of the guitar but uh, uh, we will start from the headstock and we will check uh, the spacing between the tuners. So let me fetch my Fritz Ruhr and if you don't know what a Fritz Ruhr is Check it uh, in the Google and uh, you will find it. It's a very uh, useful instrument uh, you can put in your wallet. Everybody needs one. So this surface floor 
you use it uh, to have uh, all the scalings and uh, the um, markings, uh, I mean uh, the heights of the strings, uh, the placement of the strings on the nut, and uh, this is useful. So we may immediately see there is 34 millimeters up to 34, 33, 34 millimeters between the tuners and uh, this is what we will have to find 33, 34 millimeters between the tuners and if you don't have a fritz ruler you can always use the tape meter which uh, shows us 42 3 millimeters and I happen to have in my stash one uh, such nut which should be perfect for this and it is okay so we, we will take this as a base for our measurements for the geometry so let's start moving the easiest way I think it is will be to take the nuts in place, which should be something like this. Okay. Then we can place the fretboard against the nut. Then it should go down a bit. No, it's exactly here. We can tap also the fretboard. Just so it doesn't move too much. And then we can take some measurements with the ruler. First we need to get the 12 frets. Per second. 35, 7, 10, 12. Here it is. And we check from the zero fret, which is the fret, uh, the nut, to the 12, and it gives us 31 and a half, or 6. 31 and 6. 31 and 6. Which means, if we double that, this means uh, we need to. Uh, uh, 63 and 2 63 and something which is around here and we have to mark it so we mark it So we have some adjustment which can be done by the bridge. But we need to get some initial placement of uh, all this hardware. And something. And two. Okay. I guess we are somewhere in the ballpark. We can adjust uh, the placement of the um, nut, and if we get from this side to this side, and from this side to this side, we have some rough geometry worked out. And uh, because we started uh, by the sides of the fretboard, we have uh, the widest range which uh, give us that the bridge should be no larger than 
point uh, five five point five uh, centimeters. So we need a bridge which is uh, shorter than five point five centimeters. I mean, no wider than five point five centimeters between the largest part, and of course the strings will go in the about uh, two millimeters from both sides uh, so we need a bridge which is a maximum of uh, about five centimeters between the first and the sixth string uh, center position as we get the placement of the bridge we need to take the measurement from the bottom because it's very small body and we have about 10 centimeters 11 to the center line of the scale length around 10 centimeters maximum space in which to place the uh, tail of this guitar the string attachments and uh, of course you need some space between the bridge and the tailpiece so i guess we need about between six and seven maximum six and seven centimeters tailpiece so basically at this time we have to think of a course of action to preserve the value of uh, this vintage uh, 50s uh, guitar and we will do the right thing and uh, order all the parts that we are missing uh, uh, from Aliexpress because uh, the original parts are up to unobtainable, unobtainable and or uh, more that uh, is involved uh, like expenses uh, in the wood for this guitar so we will try to do the right thing preserve the wood and uh, make it a playable guitar with the option if somebody wants to reclaim the wood to be able to uh, uh, dismantle and put uh, the right parts which are not available i guess it got uh, too long for this uh, episode so check out in the next part what we have actually achieved yeah.